Thank you. I rise in strong opposition to House Joint Resolution 66. Working families in my home state of Oregon and across the country deserve the opportunity to retire with security and dignity. Unfortunately, that's not a reality for far too many Americans who face a growing retirement security crisis. In fact, nearly 40 million private sector workers, including an estimated million in Oregon, do not have access to retirement savings plans at their jobs. The AARP and others have noted that people who do not save for retirement risk becoming dependent on social safety net programs that increase costs for taxpayers. Mr. Speaker, Congress has not stepped up to address our country's retirement security crisis, so several states, including my home state of Oregon, have developed and implemented innovative solutions that will help workers save for retirement. Oregon's program is set to launch in just five months. Workers who do not have access to a retirement plan through their employer will have access to a plan facilitated by the state. It's not mandatory, workers can opt out, and there is minimal paperwork for employees. Oregon's plan is portable, so workers can keep their retirement savings when they change jobs. Consider Oregonian Penny Winklander, who's worked hard but hasn't had access to a good retirement plan. Penny managed an apartment complex for low-income seniors, and she saw the hardships that residents faced without retirement security. Some lived on $10 in the last 10 days of the month. And she said in support of Oregon's plan, no one wants to retire into poverty and rely on public services, but it's hard to plan for the future when there's so many other financial challenges facing our families. We need a simple retirement account that makes it easy for everyone to save part of what they earn, regardless of where they work. And Bobby Sotton, a home care worker who cares for seniors and people with disabilities. She doesn't have access to a retirement savings plan through her employer. Bobby said, working with seniors in poverty, many care providers see their own future every day. Once they reach retirement age, they have to make the decision to live in poverty or keep working until they die. Even if it means just 50 or or $100 more per month, that kind of income would make a huge difference to each and every one of us. Penny, Bobby, and people across the country need access to retirement savings plans. Oregon and several other states are working to fill that need. And Congress should be supporting them and encouraging retirement savings programs like Oregon's and similar plans in California, Illinois, Connecticut, and Maryland. Instead, House Republicans are advancing a Congressional Review Act joint resolution of disapproval that would endanger these plans, discourage other states from taking action, and undermine states' rights. Specifically, this resolution would nullify an important Department of Labor rule that simply clarifies that these state-based savings plans do not run afoul of ERISA, the Employment, Employee Retirement Income Security Act. The safe harbor rule went into effect last October. And now my friends on the other side of the aisle may characterize this as closing a regulatory loophole, and they may question whether more government is the answer. But that's not what this is about. The National Conference of State Legislatures and the State Treasurers of Oregon, Illinois, and California submitted letters in opposition to this resolution. Uh, they found that the, D the DOL safe harbor provides flexibility to states, codifies clear protections for employers who facilitate retirement savings arrangements for their employees, and enables innovative solutions to address the growing retirement crisis facing this country. Mr. Speaker, I ask unanimous consent to enter these letters and several other letters in opposition to this resolution into the record. Without objection. In summary, proponents of this Congressional Review Act resolution are rushing to nullify a rule that will make it easier for people to save for retirement. That's unacceptable. Every American deserves to retire with dignity, and this resolution puts that fundamental American value at risk. I ask my colleagues to join me in opposing H.J.R. 66, and I reserve the balance of my time. Jelly.